specifically about Wilson Bailey Holmes of Con, which is the biggest WBHO, founded as recently as 1970. And it's really the specialist player in South Africa with the complex commercial buildings and other malls and things of that nature. They are known in the industry, I think, to be uh, very good at delivering projects on time and in spec, particularly when the architect has gotten a bit carried away. They also own a building, a building operation in Australia called ProBuild. Market capitalization, and this is the largest in the space, that's Gary's point, 7.14 billion rand. So that's not a big number. Mm. Price to earnings ratio, 8.92. Dividend yield, 3.36. Share chart can come up. Just tell us what you think of these Oaks. Yeah, I think you know they've they've shown a good good track record of uh, you know cash generation. They've historically been been fairly fairly strong. Um, yep. They are they are more expensive though than the rest of the the, the counters. What um, that eight to nine PE is the more expensive than the rest. It's more expensive, <laughs> which is That's which depressing. is in, insane. But uh, <laughs> yeah, you're looking at them. I mean, I think you know they're well run. I mean, Mike Mike Wiley is uh, you know now sitting as chairman. I mean, yes, they, now yeah, the CEO. exactly. So they a, a, and I mean they, they've got a, a fantastic history. I think they understand the operation. Environment. And the kind of projects they get are like Mall of mm. Africa, Mainland Maine, mm. so those are Gauteng developments. And, and, and again, I mean, a, a lot of their revenue now is also coming from Australia, so I think it's 56% mm. of their revenue comes from Australia. Um, and they're also, they're doing fantastic projects there. I mean, they're building two residential towers in Melbourne. They, they've got sort of oil and gas stuff. I mean, it's, mm. it's, it's decent. ProBuild was an existing Australian business which they mm. bought control of, so, you know, they're well mm. dug in there. It's not like a mm. bunch of South Africans arriving with their hard hats mm. wanting to do work in Australia. No, no, for sure. And, and it, it seems like they're following an expansion strategy in Australia. Mm. They've also bought out uh, another company called Renix as well. So they they definitely, you know, see, and, and I mean, management has said that they see that, that revenue portion actually increasing uh, mm. in Australia as well compared to South Africa. And one of the benefits of being a team mm. that has a culture internally of getting things done mm. on time is that they perhaps over the years have had slightly mm. fewer, uh, you know, legal cases mm. related to closure and completion of projects. Mm because that's another big problem with this industry. Low margins yeah. and the potential for fights to break out between you know customers and the construction and firm. And it's, it's, it's a daily thing with construction. I mean, you, yeah. you, you sort of, you have to price it into any expectations on any contract. It might yeah. look like the best contract, but by the, by, by the time it's all said and done, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a massive loss. On it's the, the such a company. big factor in the industry that yeah. they actually insure themselves for no, of it. Course. So yeah, there are yeah. specialist insurers that yeah. underwrite construction companies mm. because they have these disputes. Okay, so share price very cheap. Mm. Potential for some sort of a rebound, maybe in mm. capital spending in the resources mining industry. I don't know. Maybe that's not going to happen because I'm seeing iron ore and other prices <sighs> wobbling all over the show. Again, I mean the construction industry. I mean any any pick that you're going to make in the sector is going to be based on a on a you know sectoral recovery as yeah. well. And and what you're doing when you buy something like WBHO is you're buying the quality in, in mm. the sector. Um, and again, remember, I mean, we might have, you know, very stagnant growth in, in South Africa. I mean, our, our personal outlook on, um, on Australia is also that it's going to be fairly subdued with, with mm. as you said, the commodity price collapse. But, you know, when, when you get the, the general economic cycle dipping off, you often see the construction boom starting because so many of these projects are, are reliant on government infrastructure spending. Yeah. And when you, you start seeing the real pressure come through in an economy, that's when you get the fiscal stimulus. Mm. So, you know, poss possibly it could be a But that can only really happen turn. if government finances aren't in a bad way anyway exactly and right. there's a potential sovereign downgrade and the government's pulling in its fingers and so on and so forth. Very, so very true. In South Africa definitely. That so the, the time case. historically to have bought construction stocks was like 2002, 2003 mm -hmm. because everybody was in a bad way because of the dot-com meltdown mm -hmm. and then quietly in the background China's mm. resource boom was starting mm. and then these companies really flew. Mm. Hard to say though, where we're in that kind of a moment yeah, now. And, and I think when you select a company in the sector, you've also got to just look at where it's operating. So, yeah. so I mean, where, where you're seeing the, the, the larger margin type business is, is coming from Africa. You need mm. to see um, regions that, that are going through infrastructure spending programs. That so you need to see regions that need to develop infrastructure yeah. for them to, to make money. Although as we've seen with these guys, they are doing high quality work with mm. good quality customers. Hot or not? I, I think, yeah, again, I'm, I'm going to go hot on it because mm. uh, I don't want to be negative on all these companies. <laughs> <laughs> but I think in the in sector, it, it is it is the That's quality nice player. Of you, I must say. It's, it's, it's a, a little it's attitude. a little bit a little bit more expensive than the rest. But there's yeah. a reason it's more expensive. Yeah. It, it's a better quality business. And for us, we'd rather buy a better quality. You know, rather buy a what a, a fair fair company or a great company at a fair price yeah. rather than a yeah. fair company at a at a great price. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go with not hot, notwithstanding that very elegant uh, explanation. <laughs>